In this demo, you're going to learn how to create a channel tab with a configuration page in a Microsoft Teams app. Now, this demo assumes that I've already created a Microsoft Teams app project with the Yeoman Generator, and it contains a personal tab from a previous demo uh, that I've already done for this module. Um, now, we're going to update this project that we've already created, and we're going to add a channel tab uh, for this uh, exercise or for this demo. So the Yeoman Generator for Microsoft Teams can be used to add new components to an existing project. So in this section, I'm going to add the channel tab to my existing project. So I'm in the folder where my existing project is, and you can see that listed right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the following command, Yo Teams. Now when Yeoman starts, it's going to ask me a series of questions. Go ahead and answer the questions. I'm going to choose, uh, we're running a generator, exists in this project. You sure you, are you sure um, that you want to continue? I'm going to say yes, I definitely do. So I won't be someone to add something. And I'm going to choose uh, a bunch of the existing, um, uh, just the default options here. So I'll choose no, quick scaffolding, yes. I'm going to create a tab. The name of uh, the tab that we're going to create is called config math tab. Uh, it's going to be configurable. It's going to go in a team. Um, I do not need to do Azure single sign on. Uh, I'm going to uh, say that I do not want this available in SharePoint online and I'll just leave it uh, like that. Now, after we answer the generator's questions, the generator adds the, the additional files for the component and then it runs npm install to ensure that any new pen dependencies uh, are downloaded for the project. So if we open up our project in VS Code, what we're now going to see is we now have this additional uh, folder here called config math tab with some files here uh, related to this. Now I'm going to go in the interest of simplicity. I'm going to go into my environment and I'm going to change to the subdomain for ngrok just to be my name. And this is just an extra feature that ngrok uh, has uh, as part of the non-free version. So as part of the paid license version so that I don't have to worry about constantly uh, changing um, the domain uh, where my app is being created. This is not required to do this. I'm just giving save myself a little bit of a step um, because I have a, a paid version of uh, ngrok, uh, so I don't have to deal with the dynamic uh, domain. So I'm going to say uh, gulp ngrok serve. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and build and uh, serve up and start hosting uh, my project. And notice here that my URL is it's going to be hosted on andrewconnell.ngrok.com. IO. Again, that's not required to have that subdomain. I'm just avoiding the dynamic one uh, by using my account. So let's go ahead and let's open up a browser and let's go navigate uh, to that same page uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to go to teams.microsoft.com. And with the app created, I'm going to come over here uh, and we're going to um, pick more apps. And I'm going to upload a custom app for me and my teams. So I'm gonna go find the app that we've created here. So I'll choose package. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add it. Now it's gonna ask me, where do you wanna add this tab? Because a channel tab has to go inside of a channel that has to be inside of a team. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna add it to a team and it's gonna prompt me, well, where do you wanna put it? So I'm gonna put it inside the general tab, which I have a team here called, let's do the, um, I think it's 548, there we go. So I have a team called the MS Learn Team 548. I'm gonna use the general tab uh, where I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. So then I'm gonna go ahead and say set up tab. Now the next thing this is gonna uh, ask me or it's gonna prompt me with is it's gonna prompt me with the tabs configuration page. And that's gonna pop up here you see in this dialogue. I'm gonna go ahead and enter anything that I want in here. So we'll just put something uh, and then I'm gonna hit uh, save. Now Microsoft Teams adds the tab to the channel and displays it for you, as you can see here. You should see the text that I entered on the configuration page is now displayed inside of my tab, which you can see right there where it says something. Now on the tab that I created in this demo, uh, the user can select a math operation to do uh, the configuration to do on the configuration page, and the value is going to be saved in the tab so that the user of the tab uh, can perform this operation on two different values to see the results. So that's that's what we're going to actually code up here, is to basically have a, a very simplistic calculator. So the first step is to modify our configuration page. So I'm going to come over here to VS Code, 
and I'm going to locate the configuration page. It's inside of uh, the source folder slash client slash config math tab. And it's in this file here called config math tab. Now I'm going to, I want to update our import statement that we have here for uh, North star because I want to go ahead and pull in a couple additional components. So I'm going to pull in two components here, the drop down box properties and the drop down box. And then I want to find one of my existing states right here. We have our text state and I want to replace this with the value that we're passing in is our math operator. And then the actual uh, method that's going to be called when I want to um, update this is math operator here for setting uh, the string. Now the next step is to implement the configuration page logic and user interface. The configuration page displays a drop down list of four different math operators to select from. Um, after an operator is selected, it's then saved to the tabs entity ID page uh, property with the string um, math page uh, that's going to be appended to it. Now this value is going to be used by the tab page to determine what option or operation we're going to perform on the tab. So let's look for the use effect that we see listed right here uh, that contains the context uh, value that's being passed in that you can see right there. It's being passed in with context right there. So here we see it. Um, this method sets the state of the React component. So I'm going to change the statement that contains the set text right here that we just deleted a second ago um, to be the following set math operator and this is going to be context.entity the entity id dot replace i'm going to set the value of math page and set that replace that with nothing um, the entity id dot current that's going to be equal to the context of entity id uh, this is fine this is fine and this is fine so all this looks good so we can leave this um, as is now let's come down to our return statement so the return statement is where we're going to do all of our rendering. And right now it's still working with uh, the, the text uh, value that we had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this existing return statement with the following. And what this is going to do is that this is going to add a dropdown list for the user to select the operator that they want to use. So you see we have add, subtract, multiply, uh, and divide. So at this point, the configuration page is complete. So if I remove the tab in the last step, I need to, I need to go ahead and re-add it. But if I didn't remove the tab, let's go through and let's see what happens. So I'm going to jump over here back to edge and let's just, um, let's refresh the page so that the tab actually reloads and we'll be on the general tab or the general channel. And we can see we have our tab here called the config math tab. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then in the config math tab, I'm going to come over here and go to my settings page. So here my settings page, I have this drop down list. Now something is the one that's shown there at first, but that's just because that's the previous value that was already set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of these different options. I'll go ahead and choose the add operation there. And then I'm gonna select save. So what you see now is that you can see it saying add math page is the work that, wants to ha that I wanna have happen. 